We got Brandon Cooks locked in at uh, number 14 right now as our average ranking. Who wants to uh, give us a little Cooks first here? I'll step in on old Cooks. Um, he, The volatility shows up a little bit more with Cooks than the guys we've been talking about. Um, he's obviously a game breaker. He's got a five for one thirty and two, and he's got a six for one forty nine and a touch on his record this year. Um, there was, there was some, you know, he's got Tommy Brady throwing him the ball. We talked a lot about cooks about going from breeze to Brady and you don't go from hall of famer to hall of famer very often quarterback change. So that was about as lucky as it could have gotten for a team that wanted to unload a receiver and, and try to improve their team. Uh, speaking about the saints, Mr. Cooks, he started the season a little slow, three for 88 and two for 37, and it was a little bit dicey. Then he blows up for the big game and then a couple more games where it wasn't the best. His volatility is frustrating, to say the least, but his big game breakability, his ability to just pad up those stats, is just, you can't deny that. So it's and, – and, and I've – Well, he's I, much like all these guys where it's, you know, easy. All these guys are very similar. It's just one play to make your day for the most part, with the exception of possibly Landry in that group. Right. But he's going to have five plays that make your day. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. five so, catches for 50 yards. But again, there. this is this like they're pretty. Uh, uh, it's funny. Like a bunch of these guys are talking about their number on their jersey. They're all about five ten, a buck ninety, six foot, buck ninety. They're all about the same size. They've all burned fast, and they, you know, they we're in the same numbers. Play a little yeah. feisty, and they've they've made crush crossing routes. <laughs> they've come in here and they've said, "Hey, I'm an NFL player, and you can't stop me." And and Cooks is on this list. I, I'm a little bit. I think there's a reason that it. Uh, you know, we have said that you could move these guys around all in order, but I think there's a reason that you know we put the Landry and we put the Diggs and we put the Tyreek Hill in front of Cooks. And and to me, just personally, I have I have Cooks on a, on a on a couple dynasty teams, and I I, I enjoy his skill set, but it's just to me, he's like the he's the most often put to the side guy like I, for some reason i don't know if it's recency biased in some of those last couple games where it was three right, out of his last four fantasy yeah, weeks two for 19 one for 38 good. two for 17 it just really put a sour to coming down the stretch where i had a team that really could have needed him and that week 13 and 14 cost me a, pl- a first round buy and i ended up getting kicked out when i was one of the top teams in the playoffs and could have won a championship it's the luck of the draw happens to you and i and i caught the bad end of it maybe i got a rough taste in my mouth for cooks Dude's 24 years old. You know, you, what can you, what, you're going to have to find, you're going to have to search hard to find really negative stuff to say about Cooks. I just think he's, to me, he's behind Diggs and Landry. Yeah. And, and, and well, for, for some of these reasons, I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I think, I think with a, he, he has a potential to go anywhere on this list because he has that skill set. But this year, it was, it was, it was kind of a lack of volume. Like he only had, I think, 65 catches. Well, his targets were, Right on par with last year, he was at 114 and 117 last year. So, yeah, I mean he's he's gotten up above 80, around 80, a couple times in his career. I mean he still broke a thousand yards, but I guess with his Patriots offense, he didn't he didn't come in and Randy Moss it like they didn't absolutely right. have to get him the ball. Right, like they did yeah. scheme him and they took their shots and he drew a lot of pass interference calls and he definitely yeah. helped this this team win. And he's a you have to respect him on defense because of that game breaking skill. Bill Belichick loves him. He's singing his praises before they ever. The, but he was like, I'm glad I only had to play him once. Like, right. Um, but but it's a good point. He did get a lot of f- flags. He, mm-hmm. he moved yeah. the chains. 50. Give me a point for a pass he, interference. I know, right? Let me, let me he get that he point. moved the chain. Every time I watch the Patriots play, yeah. I feel like he got a 40 yard yeah. pass interference call. Right. Right. That didn't give That's me five a, points from my right. team. That's a great point. Right. It is. It's a really strong point because you know he, he, you're playing against him or you're playing him and and they're taking the shots and you know right. one out one out of three of them he's getting a pass interference. Yeah. Right. And there's if you look at the stats, he definitely had a drop down between the Saints numbers and what happened with the Patriots this year and I think a lot of that does have, it, it wasn't the Patriots needed the, they didn't force him to ball they didn't have to force right. him to ball there was also several plays that I can recall just thinking back where he probably could have scored a touchdown but Tommy didn't quite put it out there all the way for him and he had to come back and, and where he made plays where he got and you or five ball, or six or, points and or it was batted down by the defender but if it was thrown a little farther he'd have had it right yeah so he, he missed those. out on some maybe Saw Tommy's those. deep deep ball isn't quite where where it 
used to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got, I don't, I don't, I can't think of the guy's name who just came out with this report about how the Patriots are all, they're about to just well, disband and the dynasty's over and it's just ESPN looking for freaking clickbait, there's, which there's is kind turmoil of, in, in Patriot land. Now I'm sure there's probably some truth to, to what's going on there. Yeah. But, they're getting mad at how much money Tommy's making off this TV 12 thing. And right. so they kick this trainer out so that young guys don't have to come in there and be like, well, should I go with the team trainers or should I go with Tommy's yeah, trainer? Well, it's like, I mean, well, Tommy's 40 and in better shape than you are. Maybe maybe they're lucky enough to have him around doing that kind of stuff. But it, uh, it, Listen, it all has to come to an end at some point here. Maybe this is the end. Maybe they go for 10 more years, but this is almost unprecedented what the Patriots have been doing. It is yeah. unprecedented. And if this is how it ends, this is how it ends. Something's eventually going to give somewhere. Somebody's going to be unhappy with something. There's a power struggle somewhere. You've been winning for so long. Everybody thinks they're right. And they just traded both of their backup quarterbacks. Which I think is what the, the, what the disdain with Bill Belichick, well, right. at least reports reportedly what the you know disdain with bill belichick and the rest of it he's like i would i want a jimmy mm-hmm, you always right. wouldn't let me keep jimmy you told me we had to trade him yeah right so i don't know who knows it's all whatever but there is some turmoil in in uh patriot land over there which also could subconsciously lead us to maybe bump brandon cooks a little bit down this list he's a perennial probably top 10 top 11 guy here yeah. in the last few years you know. And see, that's that's part of the that's part of the that's the good. He's perennial top ten, top twelve PPR receiver, and he's twenty four like that. And that's yeah. why you see him here because the next guy we're going to talk about is T. Y. Hilton. And just to throw it in there, it's an age like these guys we've been talking about. They're so young and yeah. they've been so productive, and there's nothing that says they're not going to be good. It you know just so happened that Cooks comes in his first year. He's with Drew Brees and he's crushing, and you know keeps it going. And I feel like I think. I think Jay Wayne, you were going in the right direction there. I feel like the the expectation when he went over the Tommy was that it would maybe go to another level, and the levels were good where he was at because right, he was with right. Drew Brees in a high octane, this you know five thousand yard Drew Brees for five years in a row kind of thing. Like you don't you don't get better leaving Drew Brees, but I think we all expected maybe hey let's let's see a Randy Moss and Randy Moss is Randy Moss and nobody else is Randy Moss. Yeah. And, and this dude's five ten, a buck ninety, not six four. And, right. and you got Brady in his prime and, and all that. Right, other, and Brady's know. definitely not in his prime now. But he is still they're they're doing work, and I I I don't doubt that we can you just line Brandon Cooks up for another fifteen average per catch and a ton of catches and a ton of yards and and he's and a he's, decent ceiling of touchdowns exactly or touchdowns. It's, if if you I, I think had that, seven this year I think could have had if, more if you go if you're if you're on the clock and you're looking at Brandon Cooks I think you have a safe asset it's just. There's a there is question marks and everything y'all just said about the Patriots and you know I don't think Tommy's Tommy going can to ride out but at the end of this as year. we sit here today January 6th and the Patriots have a first round bye in the playoffs Tommy could they could win it all and he could ride off into the sunset or they could lose and he could just be frustrated and not want to play with these guys you know the dynasty like you said the dynasty is set in stone and nobody can take away how great the Patriots have been and it has to come to an end at some time or another if it happens this year. Next year, what happens to Brandon Cooks? Because they don't have Jimmy G, and they could be starting over if Brady's not there. And you know, I want to stay away from the ifs and all this stuff. But you know, there's a lot to be played out for the rest of the year for the Patriots, and it could go a bunch of different directions. Right, but. and we could we could sit here and say what we want about them, but we're still talking about them in this top fifteen of wide receivers. And like you said, exactly. I, I do. I also about think year old guy. Right. I also 24. think you you have a safe asset with him. Maybe he's not you know crushing like you you want him to crush per se i guess but i mean he he was he was really just fine this year it, you know he he hurt you a little bit at the end of the season but i mean 65 catches 16.6 average uh yards per catch and, and seven touchdowns i mean this yeah. is and, and and a young man who who in a new offense exactly right, who's that's well that's good that's first good year in that offense is a tough offense to learn good point he 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 definitely didn't do anything to, to lower his stock i just think maybe this we just don't know what's going to happen next year. Right. I guess I don't. I wouldn't imagine they're they're all not back. But I guess if they all if they win the Super Bowl, I could see them just being like, you know what, let's just drop this mic. No good point there. D- Brandon Cooks didn't do anything this year to lower his stock, and he's right around about the same spot he was last year, maybe two clicks lower for most people. But that's because people came in and played their way in front of him. You know, right. there's there's that's nothing that point. Brandon Cooks did like. And part of the problem is because you saw those flags. 
and you're you're it leaves you wanting more. It's it's you're frustrated because maybe the ball was a little shorter and he had five steps on the defender, but uh, you know it was a, it just didn't get there. Or maybe he he was there and the ball was coming in and he just gets yanked down by the defender. Like there was so many times when I watched the Patriots play with those flags and mm-hmm. it just it it just really aggravates you. But I didn't even put that, you know, you, yeah. new system. Just because and, you go to play with Tom Brady don't mean you come in knowing the plays. Right, or can even make it on the field off the rib. So with, with kudos the, with, to him for doing that. James White and Deion right. Lewis I was just about to bring Bucket, that up. All they, these running backs they just catch crush, the shit out of the ball. They crushed the interior passes. And when, when, when Edelman went down, that's what everybody thought was Brandon Cook's huge stock up. Mm-hmm. And it would just – and it Chris Hogan to start the season was absolutely on fire. And yeah, the, options, mean, the options that – the, Tommy the has that, Gronk way, stayed healthy for the most the way part. That, the way that offense is run and the way they've put it together the last couple of years as it's like just protect Brady. Nothing else matters because we're going to win the game. We're solid. We're the best coach team in the NFL, probably NFL history. So as long as we just get the ball out quick and don't let Brady get hit, we're going to just try to make the playoffs. We're going to be the number one seed and go try to get another ring. Yeah. That's what it's about. It's not about anybody's stats. Right. And so Cooks is the outside in looking. He's got a great season, I, but had, it's just you, a little tainted. A healthy Chris Hogan. I mean, Chris Hogan was a top 10 receiver yes. for Killing six it. weeks there. So it's, you know, there's... a. Good it's for Brandon so Cooks to, to be around. as high. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was There's was only one football. Driving out there. You usually hear that in basketball where there's only one ball. Right. But in, in Patriotsville, Brady's going to get the ball out quick. They're going to use the the quick passes like a running game. And then this year with all the running backs that they had, and they ended up all staying pretty much healthy, then yeah. they just they just you know dominated and a, teams. And a healthy Gronk, like Jason said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was uh, some Brandon Cooks for your pleasure.